We've heard this term before, the brain drain. Talented, highly skilled young people from Hampton Roads who earn their college degrees but join the workforce in other regions. Mm -hmm. But tonight, 10 on your side's Regina Mobley has the story of one young man who said no to the big cities and yes to the 757. The son of Air Force pilots, Philip Jones, spent four years at the Naval Academy, six years in the Marine Corps, and three years at Harvard University, where he just completed the joint MBA Master of Public Policy program. Because of the pandemic, his new employer, the Washington, D.C. office of Bain Consulting, agreed to allow him to work from home. I talked to Bain. I said I would love to live in my hometown of Newport News and still commute, and they were very uh, favorable to that course of action. He has a new career and new plans to help people in his hometown. I joined the Chamber of Commerce. Um, I really helped a program that helps uh, minority and veteran owned businesses, um, and I was able to join the Planning Commission. This Marine reservist is developing an attack on poverty, health disparities, and crime. If you can change the circumstances of one child's life, you can break that generational poverty, that generational curse. In a college project at Harvard, he wrote, I am a black man, I am a Marine, I am a native son of Virginia, and I am going to change my world every day and right now. And yes, he has plans to run for public office. And when you think about JFK and other leaders, it's, you know, it's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.